All right, advice for 14-3 of the CrossFit Games Open, deadlifts and box jumps. Uh, important to note that last year during the deadlift, push press, box jump workout, I think that's what it was, uh, most of my friends that did the workout ended up trying it again with step-ups. I have not done that yet, so I don't have any first-hand experience uh, with the speed and the fatigue level uh, comparing doing box jumps with jumping down versus stepping down to step-ups. I haven't even checked the game's site yet, but it sounds like a lot of people are talking about step-ups and they are allowed. If you've done it, if you know someone that's done it and they liked it, conserved energy and felt faster over the long run, by all means consider that. I just can't speak from experience. For me, I'm a big fan of the jump up, and um, for most athletes, I think it's appropriate to do you jump up, land and stand, step down. As the second foot comes down, you go right back up. I found that cycle time to be significantly faster and to take a lot less energy as well. Um, jumping down right back up, the, the bounding or the rebounding, whatever you want to call it, uh, is something that many of the top tier athletes will be able to do and maintain throughout the course of the workout. But my advice for the box jumps, each round of 15, is to try your best to keep moving. If you're going to rest, do it for a split second at the top of the box when your hips are fully extended, but keep yourself moving. You don't have to sprint through the box jumps. It's just going to fatigue you more. Find a nice steady and a comfortable pace and try and maintain that throughout. For the deadlifts, weight starts at 135, then goes 185 for men then 225, then 275, then 315, then 365. There are a lot of athletes out there that 275 is going to be where the wall starts to hit. Posterior chain is going to be fried, hammies, low back, glutes, maybe grip. What I want you guys to think about doing is finding a rhythm and finding a number of reps and a rep scheme where your grip doesn't go anywhere before the weight starts to get heavy. If you come out swinging and try and do everything unbroken and the weight's too heavy for you and you're going to be fatigued, don't forget you have to do more reps at more weight next. So um, there was a competition I did a few years ago with fat bar deadlifts, and by the second or third round, every athlete, even in the, in the top tier, was doing singles, drop-and-go singles, because they knew the weight was medium to heavy, and they knew they'd be able to cycle through that faster. I think there's going to be a, a much more powerful advantage to athletes who break up their deadlifts into smaller sets instead of trying to go unbroken for as long as possible. I repeat, my advice is do not go unbroken for as long as possible unless you're someone, and it sounds like there's already people out there doing this, that can basically go unbroken for everything. I don't know very many athletes like that. Big Cat's probably one of them. He's going to do pretty well here, I think. However, when your grip goes and your posterior chain goes, if you're trying to go unbroken for long sets, it's not going to be a pretty sight. So, steady but comfortable pace on the box jumps. Try not to stop moving. On the deadlifts, be smart. Conserve grip when needed. You don't need to grip the bar with the death grip. Hold it just enough so it's stable. Have fun. This is going to be a good one. The challenge here, posterior chain will be fried. I don't necessarily think that this is a workout you should do and then redo and then redo and then redo. There's people that are going to want to do it. Practice beforehand, round one, right? Get through the deadlifts, get through the box jumps with the step downs. Get through tighter grip, deadlift grip with step ups. Find out what works, commit to the way you want to do it, and then go. Good luck. Uh, I'm excited to see where this one goes. It's going to be, it's going to be fun to, to watch people do. But most importantly, number one thing, don't get hurt. There's no reason to break your back figuratively on pulling weight that you shouldn't when you're absolutely exhausted. Know when to call it. Right on the, on the gym page today where I coach, I said something like, um, we have plenty more opportunities to competitive exercise in our lives. Don't get hurt over this one. One rep is not worth being injured. So please, if you've worn a belt with deadlifts before, feel free to do that. Be smart. Be safe. Don't be a hero today. You guys are going to kill it. Have fun.